Hey, YouTube, got a quick... Oh. <laughs> Moth. All right. I uh, got a quick video for you today. Uh, it's a 2010 Kia Forte, and I went out to start it after it had been sitting for a little bit, and it was a uh, uh, crank no start. It was kind of barking like it wanted to start, but it just wasn't going. And so I pulled the codes on it. It was giving me some misfire codes and a timing code that was P0011. And I've done the timing train on this a couple weeks ago. So I was like, man, I can't believe that it jumped time right after I did that repair. Maybe I got a bad chain or something. But I also knew that there was a solenoid uh, kind of in the front here that may also affect it. And I've done some repairs on, I did the head gasket on it recently and it's been jostled around. I thought maybe that solenoid. So I bought that solenoid, threw it in there, and fired right up. Code didn't come back, no misfires, nothing. So I will show you real quick where that solenoid is and how easy it is to get to. And if you're having a timing issue, it might be worth it to throw a new one of those in there uh, before you go and do a whole timing chain and uh, all that jazz. So let me show you. First of all, this is what the part looks like. And it is this guy right here. So you're just going to unclip this by pushing that tab down and pulling out. And then the screw is right there. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can. It's that, yep, that guy right. The, ah, my finger. The black. Ah, I can't. It's the black screw right there. And so you're going to take that out. It's a Torx 30. Um, and I had to... Um, use a little uh, universal and a little bit of an extension and I did unhook this hose right here it's really easy unhook that and then you just have a little bit more of a straight shot in there and then it was a little difficult to get the actual solenoid out after I got the screw out I had to use um, some channel locks and kind of wiggle it around and twist it until it finally came out uh, there's just an o-ring holding it in there but it can be a little tricky definitely be careful not to like don't bend on this because you don't want to snap it off here and I've seen parts like Kia is not the best quality stuff and I've seen a solenoid break off like this it wasn't this solenoid but a similar one and you do not want to be digging in there so try not to bend up and down just try to twist and then just kind of try to tug on it and do the best you can try to get it out but it's a should be a five minute job if you don't have trouble getting this out it's pretty easy and it fixed my issue hopefully it fixes yours so one other quick tip when you're putting this back in uh it's a good idea to put a little oil on this and a little oil on your o-ring just to help you slide it in and hopefully you can just kind of wiggle it in it is kind of a tight fit but it does go in and the oil will help it slide in and not roll up your o-ring Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. And as always, stay independent out there.